Although its intensity varies from person to person, for some women, the pain level involved in labor and birth, especially in prolonged labor, becomes too high. If this is the case for you, your nurse will discuss alternate methods of pain relief with you. Your nurse might suggest nitrous oxide. Breathing this gas in through a mask will make you less aware of the pain for a couple of hours, so it's normally only used close to birth. Nitrous oxide might make you feel drowsy for a moment, but has little effect on your baby. A narcotic can be given to dull the pain, although these drugs don't take the pain away completely. Narcotics work quickly and last for three to four hours, but they tend to make both you and your baby sleepy, so they may not be the best choice when you're close to giving birth. An epidural is a method of numbing the nerves that connect your uterus to your spinal cord, which means the pain of contractions is greatly reduced. The anesthesiologist will insert a small tube through your back into the space where the nerves from your uterus, cervix, and vagina run. By injecting painkilling medication into this space, the signals traveling along these nerves are stopped and the pain recedes. Of course, nerves from other parts of your lower body, your legs for example, run through this space as well. So although it might be called a walking epidural, you may not be able to get much farther than the bathroom, and you may have trouble emptying your bladder when you get there. While you'll also be attached to an IV and fetal monitor, you'll still be able to change positions and help your baby move into place. If you choose to have an epidural, Remember that you'll have less feeling in your lower body. This can make it harder to push effectively during birth, which may make your labor last longer. Each method of pain relief has a well-researched list of risks and benefits, so be sure to talk to your caregivers about the choices available. They'll explain all the options to you until you're sure you understand.